Grand Teton National Park is much more than spectacular scenery and a southern gateway to Yellowstone. Below Tewinot Mountain and accessed from Jenny Lake, the Moose Pond Trail is a rather easy route that can offer a special experience. Between the first and second moose ponds, a pair of sandhill cranes were visible among grasses and shrubs. Just above the upper moose pond, near the avalanche debris, lies a den entrance. The yellow-bellied marmot is a jumbo squirrel that favors rocky slopes for safety from predators, including the black bears that frequent these woodlands. Just while turning back toward Jenny Lake, the view opens up across a meadow, and it's here that we were rewarded with moose. This moose is a male, only males have antlers, which they regrow under velvet each year and use to compete for dominance and mating rights as well as for defense. This bull moose seems likely to have contested previously, judging from a torn ear and a scarred flank. Another less massive male appears, sporting a growing but smaller rack. He feeds heartily on buds and tender twigs, which is apt since Moose is an Algonquian word for twig eater. As the moose feed, they pause to take note of the calling cranes flying overhead. Willow twigs are a staple of the moose diet. During the harshest winter months, moose at high elevation may subsist mostly by eating subalpine and Douglas fir. Over three quarters of Yellowstone's moose died due to old growth forest destruction and other factors, mostly following the massive 1988 Yellowstone fires. Today, about 800 moose live in the ecosystem of southern Yellowstone and Grand Teton, and their numbers may be growing slowly. We can appreciate their massive special beauty and do what we can to protect the environment that supports them.